All right, guys, we're going to introduce you to two really great uh, series that you can do within a wor one workout. A lot of times, one of the ways you can make your workouts really efficient is, again, by doing these ultimate sandbag complexes. So what Jessica's going to do first, she's going to lead us in with a sort of a, a, a complex that has different repetitions at different points. What we're doing is we're going to really tax the entire body. We're going to use a burpee, we're going to use what's called a hypo, and we're going to use a front-loaded squat. What we're going to do is one, two, three. That means we're going to do one burpee, two high pulls, three front load squats. We're going to do this for a total of five repetitions. So when you go through the whole thing, that's one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this as part of a ladder. So we're going to do five, four, three, two, and one of these. So in a moment, we'll have Jessica do it. We'll film it out and have it break it down for you guys and see how you mix this in with our other ultimate sandbag exercise. So let's break it down. Jessica's going to assume a position really close to the ultimate sandbag. Because remember, with the burpee, we want to really work on our hip mobility. She's going to sit back and squat down and place her hands upon the USB. She's going to kick out so she doesn't round her low back. She's going to kick back in so her she gets really close to the USB. Now she wants to set herself up so she's not rounded. She's going to explosively pull nice and high toward her body. We're going to do two high pulls and then the third one we're going to clean it into this front load position. Pulling the USB in toward her body, she's going to perform three squats. Nice. So this would be one repetition. Let's do it one more time, Jess. So she's going to come down, kick, in, two high pulls. On the third one, clean, and then three front load squats. So this would be two. So she would continue this until she performed five repetitions. She then take as minimal of a break as possible and perform our next drill that you guys are going to see. And then we're going to go back and forth between these two exercises. All right, guys, our other exercise is going to be a rotational lunge clean to press. Now, we like to do this typically with a smaller USB up front. So for even you guys, you'll be surprised that a power USB can be quite challenging. We're going to grab the outside handles to both give you greater stability and control of the movement because we're going to have a lot of complexity through the actual motion of the exercise. So what Jessica's going to do, she's going to slowly drop into a rotational lunge to one side. She's going to Explosively push her heel, bring the weight to her chest. She's then going to lock in her legs, press over the crown of her head, bring it back down to her chest, and then we're going to try to go to the opposing side. Nice, Jess. So again, we would do five per side. Looking good. See the rhythm that you start to get into? What you want to make sure is you don't lead with the shoulders, you lead with the leg dropping back. You take the time to press the weight overhead correctly. Five overhead each side, then we're going to rest and we go back to four of that series that you just saw with the burpee, high pull, and clean. I'm gonna break it down for you guys a little bit so you guys can see it in a series, and then you can try it for yourself. It's a way to do a huge amount of work in a short amount of time, train both flexibility, strength, and endurance all at once.